Okay, so this is the first time I have felt well enough to um, actually talk to a camera. <laughs> or to a camera, it's my phone. Um, I feel awful today. Like, I didn't even do my hair. I didn't try at all. Um, no makeup, no nothing. Um, yeah, I don't feel great. So, my mom has brought all sorts of medicines that I probably should have been taking for the past couple days, but oh well. Um, so hopefully that kind of kicks my immune system into gear and says, hey, like, let's get you feeling better. But um, anyway, right now I have Dusty and he's snuggling with me on the couch. Um, but this whole week, I'm going to focus on one book and one book only, and that is because I am finally going to continue in the Throne of Glass series. And I am so nervous. This book is huge. So today has literally just been like, no. I'm sick. Everything hurts. My eyes look awful. And my house is a disaster, so. I didn't read anything, I didn't do anything. I just don't feel good and it sucks. Okay, so I definitely didn't read anything yesterday. My eyes hurt. I took a lot of medicine this morning, like stuff that can be taken together, but I'm at work, but like, I think I left my brain at home. I'm not going to show you my face since I still don't feel like super, but I got my planner in the mail yesterday. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm working on setting up this week. I've got stickers and a screamy baby. And then I've got these like check off sheets, which are going to be really helpful because I've got like the videos I need to make and then I'll do like... I need to do some laundry and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I am in love with this so far and I love these stickers, like how cute is that? So surprise, I'm actually out of the house. Who's shocked? I am. Um, I have to go and pick up a prescription for Alyssa and I have to grab myself some lunch. And I think we're just gonna head straight home. Um, I feel okay today, um, not fantastic, um, but I think I am finally kicking whatever I have. So um, hopefully I can actually get some reading done today. I think I'm putting off reading just because I don't wanna read Empire of Storms right now. I may pick up one of my other TBR books. I don't know. It just makes me so nervous. So this is the epitome of what we do in this house. We're just sitting on the kitchen floor hanging out. Okay, so now Miss Thing back there sounds like she's trying to get the same thing that I've been battling all week. And still no reading is getting done. I don't think Empire of Storms is happening this week. I think I'm going to try If You Dare when we get home because Empire of Storm, Empire of Storms? Is that what it's called? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, it's way too intimidating right now. Okay, so after work, I ran into Barnes & Noble real quick because I apparently needed to spoil myself with even more books. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted some time to myself before I had to pick up Alyssa, I'll be perfectly honest. But they had a two for 10 um, on their like clearance books, I guess. And I didn't realize this. I thought I was gonna be spending like $15 and I ended up spending nine. Uh, because I have the membership, so it took 10% off, which was amazing. Um, I can get this off. 
Okay, so I bought two books. I got The Child by Fiona Barton. I read The Widow early to mid, like mid 2018. It was okay. I'm hoping this one's better. Um, I've also got one of her books on my January TBR because it's an arc that I have, The Suspect. And then I also got The Girl Before by J.P. Delaney. And I'm really excited about this one because I read Believe Me by J.P. Delaney as an arc and I really enjoyed it, but I have not gotten my hands on this yet. So, yay! Okay, so I know I didn't really say anything like on here about it, but I have been waiting on this book outlet order since the second. I think um, I got a notification that it was in Atlanta on the 2nd and it was supposed to be here by the 4th. So I assumed, okay, like maybe the 5th or 6th because I didn't get a notification like that it had moved. Well, I didn't get a notification at all until the 8th, which was two days ago. And I was like, um, okay. I was like, why is it so late? But it had not moved from Atlanta since the second. And now suddenly it's here today. So I guess I'm gonna be doing my book haul whenever I uh, get home later. That's kind of crazy, but I'm excited. So I may or may not have gone to McKay's. I may or may not have bought books. I think my haul is going to be like 30 plus books now, which is fine. But um, I went to McKay's in search of one particular book because I have seen Crime by the Book talk about it on her Instagram story lately. And I see the second book all the time at McKay's and I never knew what it was because it didn't really like catch my interest at all. But then hearing Crime by the Book talk about it, I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to read this. And of course, neither of them were there. So, but I ended up getting some other books. <laughs> One of which I ended up getting because this girl and I had a 30 minute conversation. Um, I don't know her. I've never met her, but she was super nice. And <clears throat> we were talking like middle grade kids books. And she recommended Peter and the Star Catcher, Star Catchers. Um, I have tried to read this in the past, but I think it was because I was a little too little. Um, cause I think I read it when I was like 10, maybe. I don't honestly remember, but I'm going to give this another go. Um, this might end up being one of my, my like February books. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll get to it in January, but I'm really glad that that girl and I had a chat because it was a lot of fun and I miss talking to people in real life about books, but I got three others. They're all by the same author. I'm not gonna tell you who it is because you have to watch my haul for that. <sighs> okay, so we stopped by Target because I needed to pick up more baby wipes. Um, now we're officially headed home. <laughs> I'm so tired. I have literally not read anything this week because <laughs> I'm a horrible vlogger and a horrible reader this week. Hopefully I can start something when Alyssa goes to bed tonight, but I don't know, being sick is just taking it out of me. Like, I'm exhausted. So, happy Friday. Um, I am sitting outside work because somebody is still napping. And apparently, I uh, am going to be walking into a minefield. So, I don't really want to go inside. <laughs> Plus, my boss told me not to yet because it's crazy. So, um, I read the first two chapters of Empire of Storms. <laughs> Woo! And I think I'm going to try and read as much as I can of Empire of Storms before Buzzword Readathon starts next week because I will be participating in that. Um, my TBR video for that should be coming out on Saturday, I hope. <laughs> That is if I actually get to film, but we'll see. And I just realized the sweater's on inside out. But anyway, 
I finished the first two chapters of Empire of Storms. I am like 5% into the book, so not very far at all. <laughs> but um, hopefully I can get like 10 chapters in before next week. And then we'll see kind of where I'm at with everything else. Okay, so I realized that I totally forgot to update you all last night. But we went to pizza night and then Alyssa was just not having it going to sleep. So I had to kind of wrestle her and she finally went to sleep at 11. And then she woke back up at two and didn't go back to sleep till three because I don't think she's feeling too good. But I'm exhausted. Um, for some reason I started the audiobook of Strange the Dreamer even though I literally just finished it. Um, I guess I'm kind of recapping before I try the audiobook of Muse of Nightmares, but I, uh, I found Scribd, like I figured out that that's a thing, and I finally decided to look into it. Why did I not get this before? Like, can anybody tell me? Because it's amazing. Just saying. Okay, so I'm back home from working out with my mom. I am not going to get stuff done just yet. I'm going to eat lunch. I'm going to hang out for a little bit. And then I'm going to film four videos, hopefully. Ugh, I'm already exhausted thinking about it. Okay, so I am editing late into the night because I actually have two videos coming out today. Um, you all should be seeing the next one here in a couple hours. Um, so yeah, I am going to try and read a little bit in bed before I pass out, but let's be real. I'll probably read like one or two pages and then fall asleep. But thank you all so much for watching this week. Um, sorry I was sick for a lot of it, but hopefully next week will be a lot more um, exciting, especially because it's a readathon week. So I'll see you then. Bye.